Hi everybody, I wanted to help you get started on your first project. In your first project, you have to do a little bit of research on a famous mathematician. You're not going to be reading books about this mathematician, you're just going to get some information about them so that you can write a resume and a cover letter for them. So what I want to make sure you know how to do from this screencast is we're going to answer these six questions. Where is the project? How do I research my mathematician? What does a good cover letter and a good resume look like? How do I submit my project? How will my project be graded? And what does the discussion post look like? Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is where is your project? You can find your project in two places. First of all, it's on the home page of my math lab so this is our home page of our website and if you uh, click on the menu item projects the first page that you see are the due dates for the project so this first project is due at midnight on september 13th and if you click on project one that gives you the instructions for this project I'm not going to read through the instructions in this screencast. If you would like, you can pause this video and read through those instructions. I actually encourage you to do that if you haven't yet. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to do the research, not necessarily go through this. I feel it's self-explanatory. I will tell you that there are a couple examples here. So these are projects that uh, were submitted to me that received A's. So you can look through, there's two examples here. And feel free to look those, through those, because um, those are good enough. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say good enough, I should say those are really nice projects. Okay, so that's the first question. Where do you find your project? You also can find it on the home page on the Blackboard website. Um, let me actually show you how you find that. So on the home page, if you click on this Quick Links and Blackboard, and sorry, this is going to show you what it looks like from, well, this is what it looks like in from your point of view. Um, it's found on the course information page. So if I click on this link right here, it's going to give me that same document that I showed you from my math lab. Um, if you click on the highlighted uh, Project One Famous Mathematician that's written in bold, that's where you would do your submission. Okay, I actually submitted it, but... Um, Hopefully, I'll be able to go back and, and try to show you how to submit this again. Okay, so that's where you can find the project, both on my math lab and on Blackboard. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to go back to um, remember what I want to show you is first of I show first off I showed you where the project is now let's talk about how we research your mathematician so once again we're going to go to that Triton College um, homepage and in the quick links I want you to choose library there are so many awesome resources at Triton's library that you can access from your computer at home so what we want to do to research this mathematician is we want to find some articles about these mathematicians. You're not, I don't expect you to read any books about them. If you want to, go right ahead. But you're just going to look for short articles to find very um, important information like where the student, where the mathematician went to school, where they worked, what kind of work they did, um, if they published any articles or any books. Um, that's the kind of information you need. So we're going to find articles. So I'm going to click on find articles. If I scroll to the bottom of this page, it's going to show you how to log in. If, if it asks you for login information, it's um, going to look like this in the screen. And it's going to ask you for your username and your password. Your username is your um, the, whatever your username is for your Triton portal without at triton.edu. Don't put at triton.edu. Um, and then you put your password, and that's whatever you use for your Triton email. Okay, 
So if you remember, I was on the home page. I'll go back through this. I clicked on find articles and now I'm going to click on Credo. Credo is an awesome resource, especially for this type of assignment. So now we're going to research someone. So let's say we're researching Ada Lovelace. She's a really interesting character. She was a computer programmer from a long time ago. I'm, I love these pictures of her. So anyway, this she has a ton of information about her. Notice there are 87 different articles. You can see how many pages that these articles are. So this says there are 2,000 words in this article. That might be a good one. 217 in this one, 705 in here. So that's going to give you an idea of how much information you're going to get. So let's look at, um, uh, you know, we want some information about this woman, sort of biographical. So I'm going to look at the information in this Penguin Biographical Dictionary of Women. So I'm going to look at this article. So it gives you some information about her. Um, it tells you that she worked with Charles Babbage. That's really important. Remember that you're required to include references, people that can vouch for this mathematician. So she worked with Charles Babbage. He should definitely be one of her references. She also worked with um, Augustus de Morgan. There's another person that could be a reference for her. Um, I noticed in another article, I don't see it here, she worked with um, an Italian mathematician. Um, so uh, you can look through some other articles for that. I'll, I'll try to show that to you before I leave this page. But so anyway, this is where you're going to find some information about her. You can email this information to yourself so that you have it saved somewhere, which is really nice. So play around with some of these tools. But what I wanted to show you is on the bottom, what's really nice about Triton's library website is it will give you the correct citation for citing your sources. Remember, I want you to record all the sources where you're getting your information. We're going to put our information into MLA form. So if I click on MLA, it gives me the citation in MLA form. You can copy and paste this. So you can copy it, paste it and put it in your project, which is really nice and really convenient. I don't know about you, but I'm always looking at how to cite my sources. Okay, like I said, I want to go back to those results. Um, I believe I read it possibly in this article where she translated um, someone's piece. Let me see. I'm going to pause the video for a minute. Oh, here it is. So she um, f translated his his um, his work, so which is Luigi Federico Manabre. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But anyway, there's a wealth of information about Ada Lovelace. So that's where you can do some, info do some research. Okay, so suppose you go to Credo, like I told you, and you type in your person. So let me change this. Like, for example, did you see the movie Hidden Figures? Really cool movie about three NASA mathematicians. Katherine Johnson was one of them. So if you click, um, type in Katherine Johnson, Credo isn't going to give you a whole bunch of information about her. That's because she's more contemporary. Credo is good for people that, um, to put it pretty bluntly, are dead. Um, but Katherine Johnson is very contemporary. I think she's even still alive. So you're not going to get a lot of information here. So this might be a good, um, a good person where you might want to do a Google search, a quick uh, Google search of her. But I want to caution you not to necessarily rely so much on Wikipedia. Notice Wikipedia is the first thing that comes up. Not necessarily the best website for um, getting information. Absolutely go ahead and look at that. But that's not where I want you to get all your information. Katherine Johnson worked at NASA. So NASA's website itself is a great place for you to get information about her. Um, so 
I click on that and possibly that could give me some more information about her. So anyway, you can look at Credo, you can look on, you definitely can do a Google search, be creative. Okay, so let's go back. Remember, what we wanted to do is we wanted to talk about where the project was, we talked about that, and how to research your mathematician. Now, let's talk about actually writing the resume and writing a good cover letter. Okay, that information is going to be um, back on, let's go back to Triton's website. Okay, and we're going to go back to the library. So let's go to the home page of the library. Now what you want to do to find cover letters and resumes is you're going to click on subject guides. And from this pull down menu, you're going to select the career and life planning subject guide. So career and life planning. And then it's going to give you three menu items on the left. First, you want to find that job. I forgot to put that on the PowerPoint, but you got to find the job. So you can research the job at any of these job websites. So Monster, ZipRecruiter, CareerBuilder, um, et cetera, or Indeed. So you can look for the mathematician job here. So Ada Loveless um, is more than just a mathematician, you can put mathematician and you could say in Illinois. Um, and you can find jobs for mathematicians in Illinois. You can see a, um, a list of them. But Ada Lovelace was more of a computer scientist. She was a computer programmer. So you can be more specific as well. Oops, I don't know if computer scientists came up, but yeah, computer scientists. So here's some, some jobs for a computer scientist. So look through those so that you're making sure that you write your cover letter to address these specific jobs. Okay, so we found a job. Now we're going to apply for the job. So remember, this is in the career and life planning page of the library. So click on applying for jobs. And this is a great place to go to find resumes and to find cover letters. Real quick, play around with this, look at this, but I'm going to click on, click on the Purdue Online Writing Lab where it gives you information on writing a resume. So um, we can look at some sample resumes. And we can look at, let's look at the skills one. So you can see some really decent resumes. Make sure you look here because it's going to show you how to write a resume. You know, resumes aren't written in first person. There's no pronouns in here. So look through them and see, you know, what a decent resume looks like. Okay, so that was the resume. Um, and you can do the same thing for the cover letter. And there's examples of cover letters here as well. All right, so good cover letter, good resume. All right, the last thing I want to cover in this screencast is how you submit your project, how you figure out how it's going to be graded, and how to post on the discussion board. Okay. So the first thing we're talking about is submitting it. So back on the Triton webpage, you're going to go back to Blackboard and our course on Blackboard. And we're going to click on the Project One Famous Mathematician in bold. I went through and deleted my previous submission so I could show you how to do this. So really good information here. First of all, here's the rubric. So if you click on this rubric, it will show you how I'm going to grade your assignment. I would encourage you to look at this so that you get the highest grade possible. Um, and when you're all done writing it and you're ready to submit it and you've put it together, then I would, um, on the in this box where it says text submission, I would type your name and that this is project one. 
You could even type who you um, researched. And then what you're going to do is click on this Browse My Computer and find your project in your own files. So I'm going to attach the project. And you can click on this to submit them to the Global Reference Database. And you're going to click Submit. And this um, report is in progress because it's, you know, uh, submitting it to that SafeAssign website. So that's how you're going to submit your project. Now, for me to grade it, I'm going to click on, so if you want to look at your grade, click on My Grades. It's going to show that you have submitted your project, and there's going to be a date stamp. Make sure that time is before midnight on September 13th. And then if you want to read your grade, obviously I didn't grade this yet, I just got it. But if you're going to look at your grade, this is where you will see your grade. So that's how easy it is to submit your project. Notice this was done on Blackboard, not on my Mac lab, but on Blackboard. I thought that this might be a little bit easier. Okay, the last thing I want to do is talk about the discussion post. Now that is on Black, on, I'm sorry, that is on my Mac lab. So let's go back to my Mac lab. And on my Mac lab, in the discussion post, which you are very, very familiar with, you're going to do the project one discussion. And it explains what I want. You can pause the video and read this if you like. But I don't expect a research project written here. I don't expect an essay. All I want is a couple lines about the person that you researched. So. Here's an example. Um, Benjamin Banneker created the first wooden, wooden, working wooden clock. He also predicted the first solar eclipse, or actually not probably not the first solar eclipse, but predicted a solar eclipse for April 14, 1789, which is fascinating. Remember, we just recently, last fall, had a solar eclipse. Um, now, let's say you researched Benjamin Banneker but I already have this posted here. So when you go to post in this discussion board, if somebody already researched your person and you'll see it in the subject line, so you should see Benjamin Banneker written in the subject line, you're gonna have to reply. So suppose you find out that um, Banneker used his um, notoriety, to, um, I guess I don't know how to spell notoriety. So he used his notoriety to um, um, to protest um, racial bias. And if you research um, him, you'll see that's actually true, that he was one of the first activists in 1789. He was actually born free, but um, he was an activist um, and actually had conversations with Thomas Jefferson about racism. Racism. So it's pretty interesting. He's actually a pretty interesting guy. So anyway, you're going to respond to my post. Okay, I don't want to post this because um, I want to give you guys an opportunity. Now, if you've researched somebody other than Benjamin Banneker, like for example, if you did Ada Lovelace, then you're going to click on respond and you're going to type Ada Lovelace here. So remember, if you're typing a new thread, your person, you're the first person to research your famous mathematician, you're going to click on respond. But I'm going to cancel this. If you are, if somebody else already researched Ada Lovelace, then you're going to hit reply to theirs and post just a couple sentences about your person there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions whatsoever, 
please feel free to email me, um, call or text me, call me, whatever, so that I can help you get started and do a great job on this project. All right, I wish you luck.